right, so I've made it to the beach in Bandon for sunset. And we've got some pretty nice conditions right now. Good cloud cover. Um, the tides are looking good. The tides are a little low and they're receding, which actually in this case is pretty nice because we're getting these really glassy reflections. And I love this beach because there's so many unique rock formations to play with. Just such a big variety of different shapes. So I'm going to try and get some nice reflections of these rock faces. See what kind of sunlight we can get on the rock faces in different positions. But I'm here pretty early, so I have a lot of time to scout out what I want. Alright, so after searching around for a little while, I think I found something that I'm into. Uh, I like these little patterns in the sand. And I'm trying to get them leading up to these sea stacks in the background. Not entirely sure about the composition yet. I'll need to tweak the shot just a little bit, tweak the composition to get it to balance out a little bit more. Uh, it's weird, I, I kind of cutting off the rock on the left side and then the stack on the right side is a little higher. So I'm just gonna look at the different elements and see how I could possibly balance this out to make it work. Because I really do love um, this foreground, but I need to make it work with the background. We'll see. <laughs> All right, so I think I found a better composition. Had to move a little bit over here, but I found the same sort of ridges down here and then uh, positioning the rocks in a slightly better composition. So here's the shot. It's a single exposure from the Nikon D850 with the 14 millimeter lens to get all that foreground in there, those beautiful patterns. Now, the reason I didn't have to focus stack this is I actually shot this at f18. I was actually really impressed at how much the sunbow came out. I could see the sunbow in person. It wasn't really picked up very well by the video footage, but I was really able to bring that out in the final file. So I just want to thank you for watching this episode of my new Oregon vlog series. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way the Seascape image came out and some of the footage. But what's funny is that wasn't my feeling when I was out in field. And I actually want to show you the original clip that I had filmed after right when I left Bandon Beach. I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if I got an image or not. The conditions were nice. The colors were beautiful. The location's beautiful, um, the tide's in a good position. It just, I don't know. While I was shooting the images, I was just really uncertain of, you know, if I really liked the compositions I was finding. And it's really tough to say until, until I get back and see the images on the computer. But, you know, sometimes it's like that. You don't always know if you're getting a good image while you're out in the field. And that's just one of those evenings. So that clip was filmed right after I had finished sunset. And to be honest, that happens all too often where I just come away from a shoot really uncertain if I've gotten something that I'm happy with. And this probably happens to me about 50% of the time. A lot of the times when I'm creating images, it takes a long time for me to realize the final vision or um, you know, be in the right mindset to look at the images and process them. And this was definitely the case where shot the images, did the best I could with the composition, the conditions, just really uncertain if I got anything, got back to the computer, saw the images, felt, to be honest, a little uninspired, didn't want to process them. And it took me a month or two to come back to the images with a fresh mindset, a fresh pair of eyes, and really just realize the potential that that image had. Um, so I just want to encourage you, if you're the type of person that comes away from shoots, really uncertain if you've gotten anything, um, just take a break from those photos, you know, leave them, go do something else, and come back to them when you're ready, when you have a fresh mindset. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.